Hi, and welcome back to my channel. Um, today is going to be my um, July favorites. I haven't done a favorites video in some time. So there have been some things that um, I have been loving for the month of July. And um, it's not all makeup. So, it's some hair care, skin care, um, things like that. So, let's just get into it. And they are in no specific order. So, um, firstly, um, for the month of June, July, I have been wearing my hair in a wash and go because I have decided to you know, go natural and um, not relax my hair, but I'm not going to do the big chop. I'm just going to, you know, just gradually transition. So some of the things that I have been loving um, for my hair have been um, the Carol Daughters Hair Milk and it's a refresher spray it was something that i used to you know refresh my curls you know after um you know my wash and go the next day so um this is this is really good and it does keep your hair moisturized and and soft so um that is one thing Another thing that I have been loving is the Mixed Chicks Leave-In Conditioner. Now, this is really, really good. Now, one thing um, about it when you're going on a natural hair journey is that, you know, you want to keep your hair moisturized. And so, um, I found these products to help. Um, keep moisture in my hair as well as to form my curls. So, Mixed Chicks Leave-In Conditioner. And you can find it at Walmart. You can find it at Target. You can find it at Walgreens. Now, with the Carol's Daughter, um, you can find that at Walmart and Target. Not Walmart, I'm sorry. Walgreens and Target. Um, going along with the hair care line, um, I've been also loving the Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Curl Style Milk. Um, this also has been um, helping to keep moisture into my hair and also to form my curls when I do um, my wash and go. It does say that it's sulfate free as well as color safe. So that is another hair care product that I've been loving. Um, a couple of more hair care products is also um, the Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie. I have really, really been loving this. Along, you know, with all of these things in combination, it has kept moisture into my hair as well as kept my curls and, um, you know, helped to eliminate the frizz. Another thing that helped to eliminate the frizz was, um, the um one and only argan oil now this was something that i used to um you know i would put it in my hair and i would you know scrunch it into my hair um my ends and it did keep down the frizz now i also use this um when i straighten my hair and it, you know, it's not greasy. It doesn't cause you to have, you know, greasy hair or anything, um, 
it was nice and um, how should I say it was nourishing to my hair and um, it wasn't greasy so this is something that I was really really loving um, for the time that I was doing wash and go and even now with my hair being straight um, the cream of nature argan oil perfect edges was um, something that I also used with my wash and goes um, I used it you know to slick down my edges in the front um, because we know that when you're going natural <laughs> um, your edges can can be a challenge so um, I use this um, it was recommended to me I really wanted to try the Hicks but the Hicks was um, like $13, $14 and the lady in um, Sally's recommend this to me and said that it works just as well as the Hicks so um, and it did its job so I was pretty happy with that now that is all for um, you know hair care and things like that um, getting into skin care and makeup um, it's not a whole lot of makeup but you know I guess skin care and stuff like that it's just a mixture um, one thing I think I've shown this in a favorites before and this is the soap and glory vitamin C facial wash I have really really I've been loving this um, I actually went out of town and I forgot it and um, when I came back and I started using it again um, I, I have just been loving this so um, it was limited edition and I don't and Sephora has stopped selling the soap and glory so I really don't know where you can find this but I have really really been loving this and um, hope that I can find it again another thing that I have been loving have been um, these masks right here um, that I picked up from Walgreens um, one is a detoxifying mask another is an anti-aging mask and another is a peel-off mask with cucumber and it's for deep cleanse, cleansing. I have really been loving these masks and they have made a difference in my skin. Um, I really, you know, feel a difference in my skin. So um, this is something that I would um, repurchase and have been loving, you know, for the month of June and July because I've been using these for a couple of months. Now, um, something else that I have been loving, I stopped using it and then I rediscovered it and I start using it again and I don't know why I stopped using it, but it's the Oil of Olay Total Effects 7-in-1 Eye Cream. This is really, 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 really good um, because I have um, noticed that the tightening of my skin around my eyes, um, so yeah, I, I really been loving this and I would recommend this. Um, you know, it's for anti-aging and stuff like that, but you know, as we know, um, when you are, you know, putting on eyeshadow and eyeliner and things like that, and you're taking it off, you're kind of, you know, pulling and tugging at your skin 
kind of, you know, no matter how gently you try to um, remove the eye makeup and stuff like that. So, this has really, really um, firmed the skin around my eyes. And um, I think it's, it's worth it. It's a little pricey, and I do believe that it is worth the money that you spend on it. Another, um, the last thing in skin care that I have been loving, and I have been loving this, is my Clarisonic um, Facial Brush. I have been loving this thing. It gets, it helps to get my skin really, really clean, especially, you know, you know, when taking off makeup and things like that, you know, that um, despite using, you know, facial cloths and things like that, and also, you know, using a facial cleanser, that it doesn't always get all of the makeup you know, off of your skin and out of your pores and things like that. With this, I have been um, really, really loving it. It's been getting my face really, really clean. Um, when I use my toner, I do not see any traces of makeup, you know, left behind. So, um, I've really been loving my Clarisonic Facial Brush. Um, some things that are makeup, I have been, um, the Super Stay Better Skin, I have really been loving this, um, I've used it in, in the heat, and my melt, oh god, my makeup, you know, didn't melt off or anything, it held up to the heat and humidity of Miami so I have really really been loving this so um, I would highly recommend that you try it if you can find find it in your shade to match your skin tone I would really really recommend that you do try this this is really 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 good um, I love it just as much as my, um, my MAC, um, I forgot the name of it, but my, um, MAC foundation. Another, um, thing that I've been loving is this CoverGirl Super Sizer Waterproof Mascara. I have been loving this. Um, the brush, you know, this this is what the brush looks like. It's, you know, plastic. It's It doesn't have the bristles as what you would normally find in um, a mascara. But I have been loving this, and this has really like elongated my lashes it doesn't give them volume um but it has elongated my lashes so i've been um loving this um as i've shown you the um nyc liquid eyeliner i have been loving this too so it's so easy to do a wing liner look with this. So, and it's really, really dark. And I have been loving this. So, um, for the price that you pay for it, it is, it is good. It is excellent. And, um, a couple more things. Um... I have been loving this eyelash curler from um, Sephora and it's something that I saw on um, Patrick Starr's channel and this helps to get my lashes close to the lash line. 
Um, I use it um, to get my lashes close to the lash line and it really really helps so um, I have really been <laughs> loving this so um, but you can you can use tweezers or you can use something like this but I I like this better so um, the last couple of things that um, I've been loving for the month of July um, are from Mac and um, one is this crystal glaze gloss by Jambostia Valley. I I know I messed up the name, but um, I have really, really been loving this um, lip gloss. And this is, you know, what it looks like. So, um, and it's a gloss. And it's really, really nice. It's not too, too glossy, but it gives you just the right, you know, sheen, I guess you want to say, to your lips. And um, I usually use it with my matte lipsticks because I'm really not a matte girl. But um, I have been you know, using like the Milani matte lipsticks and the MAC matte lipsticks, which aren't drying, but they're moisturizing. But, you know, I like a little sheen. So I've been using this on top of those um, lipsticks. Um, the next thing that I have been loving are my MAC lip pencils. One is in Mahogany, and the other is in Night Moth. I have been loving these two um, lip liners um, for the month of July and June, because I got them, like, in June. So, I, I really have been loving them, period. So, that right there is mahogany so it it looks more brown than purplish so it's it's really really pretty and of course there's night moth right there and um that's what i'm wearing today um with um, a Milani matte lipstick and using um, the lip gloss on top. So, another thing that I've been loving for the month of July has been this um, Dermacell Advanced Treatment um, Lotion. And believe it or not, I got this from um, the Dollar Tree, the dollar store. And I suffer, you know, from dry skin really, really bad, like on my feet and things like that. But this has helped to keep my feet moisturized and, and everything. And I haven't had any problems since using this. So, um, this is something that I would highly recommend. It's only a dollar. And like I said, you can get it from the dollar store. Okay, so go ahead and try this out. You will not regret it. Okay, that's it for my favorites. If you like the video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you found it helpful. If you have not subscribed, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And as well, if you have any comments or concerns, please leave them in the comment section and I'll be sure to get to them. I thank you once again and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.